If you're new here, please subscribe and like for more videos. Air Compressor Fundamentals A compressor is to find a change of atmospheric pressure into compressed air making use of the least amount of power. Formula for power P is equal to work done per seconds. We will first consider the work done as area 1, 2, 3, 4 on the PV diagram as shown here. Formula for work done is equal to P1 times V times open square brackets, time P2 divided by P1, all in brackets to the exponent N minus 1 divided by N, all minus 1, close square brackets. So to calculate the work done we need to understand the PV diagram and how a compressor operate. PV diagram have the pressure on the x-axis and volume on the y-axis. While a compressor consists of a cylinder with inlet and outlet valve, the cylinder also houses a piston which is mounted on a crankshaft with a connecting rod. When the piston moves downwards on the compressor, starting at point 1, Total volume V1 on the PV diagram, the piston is at what we refer to as the end of its downward stroke. When this happens, it means that the pressure in the cylinder decreases until it is lower than the atmospheric pressure and air is then forced in through the inlet valve to fill the piston cavity. After filling the cylinder, the piston then begins to move upwards. Then the air is multitropically compressed according to the law PV exponent N, equal constant C. Now the air is compressed until it is higher than the pressure of the outlet valve springs, so that, that there is a delivery pressure P2 and volume V2 at point 2 of the PV diagram. At point 2, the outlet valve is opened and the stroke moves to point 3. This means air has been delivered from point 2 to point 3. At point 3 we say that the piston has reached the end of its compression stroke. Here the pressure at point 2 always going to be equal pressure at point 3. This is very important to remember when we talk about compressor formulas. Also at point 3 we have a volume V3. V3 is what we refer to free or clearance volume. This free volume V3 happens when the piston is at the top of its stroke, so it leaves a small space of air between the top of the cylinder head and the piston top. This air is not delivered, it acts as clearance so it remains inside the cylinder. And from here, the piston starts to move down which we refer to that movement as the inlet stroke, suction, air. The air will expand according to the law PV exponent N is equal to constant C, to point 4 V4. Here the atmospheric air is only allowed in from point 4 to point 1, where the pressure remain the same, at this to points it also represent the effective volume VE. VE is important and we'll use it to calculate the work done, then power. Also, the piston in the compressor cylinder, it is mounted on a crankshaft hence it rotates at a speed in revelation per seconds or minute. The speed will multiply the calculated work done and thus the formula will become power now. It will be work done per seconds, kilojoule per seconds is kilowatts. Now to calculate effective volume VE, use the following compressor formulas. V3 is free or clearance volume. V1 is total volume. The stroke volume Vs is equals to V1 minus V3. Also, Vs is equal to pi times diameter squared divide by 4 and all multiply by stroke length ls where d is the diameter of the piston or cylinder and ls is the stroke length stroke length ls is the distance in which the piston moved to compress the air it can be downward or upward stroke effective volume ve is equal to v1 v4 
v4 is equals to v3 time, open brackets v4 divide by p3, from the PV diagram P4 equals P1 and P3 equals P2. Note, when the volume of air delivered by a compressor V2 is allowed to change back to atmospheric temperature and pressure, it is what we refer to as free air delivered, FAD. Thus we have the following formula. PA times VA divided by TA is equals to P1 times V1 divided by T1 is also equal to P2 times V2 divided by T2. But on this formula, total volume V1 is equals VE. We also have two volumetric efficiency. Formula 1 is with the reference at inlet condition is equal to effective volume VE divide by stroke volume. Formula 2 is with the reference atmospheric condition, is equal to free air delivered VA divide by stroke volume. Note, if the question says ignore free volume or it is not mentioned at all, you take V3 is 0, that will result in stroke or swept volumes equals to total volume V1 equals to effective volume VE. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe and like for more videos.